Hi, and welcome back to this, the final part of tonight's show. Now, you know as well as I know that things are changing in the world of rock and roll. We're getting some great new bands coming through with a whole new attitude. And I think these two guys who are sitting next to me are, are very much a part of that. This is Chris Cornell and Matt Cameron from Soundgarden. Hello. It's nice to see you, chaps. It's nice to see you. Now, obviously, all of a sudden, the, the band has really broken big. I know that from what we were having a quick mm -hmm. chat about earlier, you've been doing this for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Does it seem kind of strange that all of a sudden people are talking about Soundgarden as this new happening band? Yeah, we get that a lot. It, I mean, you know, record after record, when you break into a new market, I mean, we may have been an alternative band for for five or six or seven years. Before but, it was fashionable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, you, all of a sudden, you know, a new medium sort of will embrace you and, and sort of say, here's a new band. And you kind of just have to bear with it because it is new to them. There was too many bad rock bands out there that were a little too popular. And um, there were some good trends like Jane's Addiction getting real popular and then Faith No More. And now, of course, you know, Nirvana getting real popular. Um, it proves that there's a crowd out there that's, that's into, you know, different styles instead of just what's shoved down their throat by radio and MTV. Right now, we're going to go over to our correspondent, John Sutherland, out there on the west coast of America and find out what's happening in LA Stories. Now, talking to Chris and Matt earlier about LA, um, you seem to think that the Seattle scene is uh, starting to develop something of a tendency of what happened in LA in the past. Is that right? Well, yeah. There's sort of a, like a lot of people moving there from other cities in the US, you know, to start a band because there's so many bands that are successful out of there. And uh, there's also like a lot of young bands starting out that are thinking about trying to get a record deal more than thinking about like trying to have fun playing music or writing songs which seems like it'll eventually be the poison and will kill the Seattle scene. So what about Outshine, the new video, which we're just going to have a look at in a minute? I haven't actually seen it, I must confess, uh -oh. so you have to give me the big scoop on it. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll tell you what, it may be one of two versions that uh, we made, because we made two different versions with two different directors, and I don't know which one you're going to show, and I know that you don't either, so... So we're all in the dark here, and yeah. I'm pretty excited to find out what's going to happen. This is Soundgarden, and this is Outshine. Oh, it's exactly. been a pleasure talking to you anyway. Thanks, man. Great Thank to have you down. Nice right. to see you, man. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you, Chris. And it's time we went and checked out the last track from the live band tonight. This is The Untouchables.